Welcome to another video by Dodge Neon Racing. Today we're going to be doing a instrument cluster reset on a 2000 uh, PT Cruiser. It's the same method on any uh, Dodge uh, vehicle uh, that has the trip button. Um, so, and if you've done it in like say a Neon, uh, there it's about the same method but in a PT Cruiser it actually does a few more uh, checks than just a typical cluster reset. So what we're going to do here, let's see if I can get this positioned. Uh, okay. We're going to hold this button in right here, put your key in the ignition, and then turn it like you're going to start it, but don't start it. So put it in the run position and do it three times. One, two, three, hold, and then... It starts to count down. And you can actually let go because now it's in uh, program set. And then all your lights will light up. Uh, and then it will automatically then go to everything and then you can start your car so the reason being for this is say your speedometer ended up going all the way around and getting stuck on the opposite side of the needle same thing for your rev limp uh, rpm your tack um, or one of these somehow got stuck you can do that just to check to see if everything's working correctly. Um, when you do that check, the first thing that's going to go is your RPM will go to uh, six, which is, is you know the uh, highest that you know you should ever take your RPMs is six. Uh, then this will end up going to 120. These two will set first, and then your hot, your temperature gauge, and your fuel gauge will also then set once all three set everything is going to relax back and as you've seen every light on here will light up and that's another way you can also check for any burnt bulbs to make sure all your like your battery light your door jar light your uh, oil pressure light your uh, temperature uh, coolant temperature light your uh, high beam light and then also like your cruise your, and all those and then also like your seatbelt button your security light it's going to test all that um, also like your track on and off for cars that have uh, track and things like that all those lights will light up and if they don't light up and you have that feature like say you have track uh, control mods and those don't light up then that means the little bulb in the back is blown Alright, thank you for watching.